it's a great day that we're all planning for and really looking forward to, but getting to that day is a real effort, a real process and a real challenge. Okay, look at Ryan's wedding survival kit. Is this like a bunch of morphine? <laughs> First. Oh, my own game. Who wants to say it first? These are suggested answers to Trista's wedding questions. We don't want any conflict. Whatever you think, that, that one I use all the time. Right. Do you think that might be just a little too much pink? <laughs> <laughs> next stop for Ryan and Trista is Lennox, where they're going to be picking out China for their reception. This is such an amazing opportunity for them. They get to design China from the same place that designs for the White House and royal families. We're completely clueless. We know nothing about China, really. Especially me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I have a very limited knowledge on, on flatware and dishes and things. I, as long as it's waterproof, like things aren't going to seep through it and it doesn't have holes in it, it's fine with me. I, I like the platinum, mm. I think. But since it's going to be at the wedding, we're having pink, black, and white. Like, okay. pale pink. Pink, it's cool for the wedding, but I don't want to have pink china for the rest of my life. I don't necessarily think we should use pink as our china, because I don't think Ryan would be too happy with that. No, but it comes in a uh, very wide spectrum, some very pale blushes that look like champagne, oh, which really? are rather nice. Do you what? think you could go yeah. for that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you know. To be honest with you, planning weddings is not something that I really imagine myself doing a whole lot of. It's both of ours day, but she's been thinking about it for 30 years and I've been thinking about it for, you know, a month. Coming up, the whirlwind continues and the stress is starting to get to Ryan. It does get kind of mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausting. And later, things get tense when Trista receives an unexpected phone call. Money has nothing to do with it. It's no, 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 Dad, but money is an object. Then the friends questioned Ryan and Trista's commitment. What made you fall in love with Trista? Is this real? I mean, are they in love? Find out when Trista and Ryan's wedding continues. Trista and Ryan's wedding on ABC, brought to you by T-Mobile. Get more minutes, more features, more service. And J.C. Penney, where you'll find all the best gifts. Unwrap the magic; it's all inside. Ryan is definitely not as concerned or doesn't care as much about the flowers and the invitations. I realize how important a day, a wedding day is, especially to the bride. But sometimes it's kind of tedious and boring, and I don't always enjoy it. But I'm trying. Come on, let's do invitations. I was so excited to have Lair and Black do the invitations for Trista and Ryan. They've designed invitations for Shaquille and Shawnee O'Neal, Jessica Simpson, Nick Lachey. I knew they'd be able to create something at least Trista would like. And this is for your shower that I started out designing for you. Look at your invitation. Oh my god! <laughs> This little dolls. <laughs> this is, come on. Oh my God. You love this. Oh my God. Yes. Trista loves pink and it's everywhere. We go to the invitation people and it's like pink everywhere. And we go to the flower people and it's pink everywhere. My friends will love it. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> you know, there are going to be men, you know, males at the wedding. Maybe I'll just call my friends and invite <laughs> <laughs> Love you to meet a really good friend of mine, Michael from Perfect Ending. Pleasure, it's a to, pleasure meet to meet you, Ryan. Yeah. Nice to meet you. I love this. Mm -hmm. The, the two yeah. Pink. Walking in to see all of the cakes that were displayed for us. These are the handmade paintings. It was a little bit of sensory overload because there's so much in there. The I'm in awe. The leaves are the leaves are edible too. I mean, That's all you guys are gonna get is me. At <laughs> you don't need to spend a lot of time on what mine looks like. <laughs> Just make a cake in half an hour and, and put it next to hers. So do we get to try some? Sure. Yeah. So Ryan doesn't leave. <laughs> Why don't we go ahead and start with our ivory apricot. It's a sponge cake. Oh, yeah. I like that. Ryan and I are dessert lovers, and we really share, I think, the same in terms of what type of cake we like. So that'll be an easy decision to make. That one's good. 
Trista will ask me for input, I think, on just about everything, but I don't know that she actually will listen to what I'm saying. That's your favorite now. Mm -hmm. You like that more than Red Velvet? No. I like the carrot cake, the banana, and the brown. Okay. Those were so good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. On to our next stop. One of the most important things for Tristan and Ryan is choosing the rings. Decore's rings are handcrafted, so Tristan and Ryan are going to be the only ones that have that design rings just for them. I think I see some diamonds. That's a good start. Yeah. Ooh, I love the detail on that. Oh, it's a beautiful ring. Thank you. This particular ring has, depending on the size of your finger, about 200 stones on it. Ooh, I love that. This day has definitely made things a lot more real. For one, I saw a ring on Ryan's finger that I've never, ever seen before. It was kind of, wow, we're really doing this. You're actually going to have a ring on your finger in a few months. <laughs> Feels a little weird. OK, way too burning. real right now. Why is it burning? <laughs> Just kidding, it didn't burn. There are people involved in this wedding that I never would have dreamed I would have the opportunity to work with. So I know that it's going to be a dream day because of all these great things that are coming together. Meeting with all the different people and trying to think of different ideas, it does get kind of mentally, emotionally, and physically exhausting. Up next. Things heat up when Trista's dad confronts her about being excluded from the plans. Money has it nothing is. to do with it. It's no, 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 Dad, but money is an object. Then the couple's off to find the perfect place for a fairy tale wedding. This I love the gazebo is the ceremony. And it's the moment of every mother's dreams. Don't laugh at me when I cry. <laughs> then later, is there trouble in paradise as the friends weigh in? What made you fall in love with Trista? <laughs> From the minute they got engaged on TV, it's been pretty surreal. You wonder, you question whether or not they're really in love. Find out when Tristan and Ryan's wedding continues. This wedding is not about me having my dream day. It's about me making sure that Ryan has his dream day and me making sure that my parents and his parents and our families are taken care of. Over the past few weeks, I've had some voices speaking to me, namely my parents, about their concerns, that they're feeling disconnected. Some of the things I think that we're all missing are the involvement with just the picking invitations and what kind of flowers are there going to be and all of those things I think are family events that close families share during the wedding process. You know, we just don't feel like we're you know, completely tucked into all this wonderful event that's going on. Well, what do you not feel connected to? Like... You know, when you talk about, you know, traditional things, you know, there are some questions we've had in regard to, uh, you know, the reception, the rehearsal dinner, and well, I know that... I want you to ask us. We're here to talk to you guys. Yeah, we're busy, but... That doesn't mean, you know, you can't shoot us an email, too, and say... Hey, so what happened with picking out the cake, you know, or what happened? Have you with... guys made the decision about the cake yet? Not completely. What um, about the, the tuxes? You know, nobody said anything to us about what we're going to be expected to wear. Is, is there a plan for that? I think that both of my parents feel that because this is being put on by somebody else, that they kind of have their thunder taken away from them. Even though I'm not calling you saying, Dad, how much can I spend on a cake? I still want you guys, if you feel like you want to know about the cake, then call me and ask about it. Well, money is not the object. Money has it nothing is. to do with it. It's, no, no, it's... no, Dad, but money is an object because... There are a lot of conversations that aren't happening between us that could be happening because I would have to run things by you in order to make sure that everything would get paid for. I definitely understand where he's coming from because he is the father of the bride. He's dreamt about this day as much as I have, probably. So he wants to be as much of a part of it as, you know, I am. So we're cool? You know, your happiness is, is all that, that matters in this. And I love you. Okay. I'll see you. I love you, too. Bye-bye. Okay, bye. The next phase in the wedding plans is finding a location. Hi. How are you? Good. I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Good to see you again. Oops, Me too. What Ryan and I are really looking for is some place that we could have the ceremony outside and then come inside and have a really big party. 
Now this is where we picture the rehearsal Pretty. dinner, which could be incredible. And see all the cabanas around? The, yeah. We want to drape them in fabric oh, so they look pretty. like old little like sexy huts. The, the fact that Ryan and I are actually at a location that the wedding could be at brings everything home. Okay, come oh, on in. Ah. Isn't this beautiful? It's pretty. So is there anything you guys aren't sure of yet or that you're worried about? The only thing that I want to make sure happens is that our parents stay involved as much as would be normal. Right. Because in my family, we haven't planned a wedding, neither has his. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I'll make sure that I make the call. Yeah, they Good. just want to know and what's going they, on. I think just a phone call or even an email. And I'll tell them how it works with out of town you know, parents and the Good. brides here and how it's, it's pretty typical. That's also, important. we can go to Mark's and do a table set up for the rehearsal dinner, take a picture and email it to Perfect. them. Perfect. So they really get a visual. Just to keep them in the know. Yeah. This I love the gazebo. is the ceremony. Okay. We'll totally make this floral and beautiful. I think it's beautiful out I here. I think it's perfect. I think it it's is. magical. It's big. There's enough space for us to create all yeah. those things you wanted. And I love the gazebo. I've always wanted a gazebo. Right. Or incorporate and it somehow. Pink flowers over there. I like pink right, There you go. Go figure. See those stairs over there? Yeah. You and I are gonna walk over there. Ryan, you stay here. I love this. This is I know. Pretty. And then we're talking about like decorating all the banisters here. Uh-huh. So the day of I'll be up here with you. Okay. Just pretend I'm dad. Yeah. Do I go like this? Well, you're gonna have your bouquet. Oh, yeah. And you're going to hold it low so you okay. look good in pictures. And I'm going to hold you here so that you look really good. Okay. okay. And we're going to walk slow. And just the view of you coming through here. Oh, God, this is Through weird. the fabric. Right. When Mindy was walking me kind of down the aisle towards Ryan, it kind of became a lot more real at that moment because I'm envisioning him being in his tux and me actually walking down an aisle with my dad. That's the first time that we've ever really practiced that. So we'll walk this long, see how long this island? It's very long. Do your little princess wave. But it's, yeah. Right? There's spots throughout the whole process where you're doing things that you're going to be kind of reenacting on your wedding night, sort of preparing for that. And while I was standing kind of up on that hill and watching Trista make her way towards me, you know, it's minus all of the hoopla, it's minus all of the people, but it's still me standing there waiting for Trista, and it, it, it does sink in a little bit when you do things like that. Coming up, Trista and Ryan arrive in New York and have a surprise for their closest friends. My friends are going to be my groomsmen, and Trista's friends, you all, are going to be her <laughs> bridesmaids. Then it's the moment that every mother dreams of as Trista models her first wedding gown. Don't laugh at me when I cry. <laughs> then later, some of the friends are suspicious of Trista and Ryan's love. Are they in love? Through words, they don't really know what real life is together. Will skeptics confront the happy couple? Some of us don't have the nerve to verbalize it and, and say what's been on our minds. You know, Trista, I don't know you very well, but... Find out when Tristan... Ryan and I are here in New York, and we're continuing with the wedding plans, but we're actually going to be inviting all of our wedding party to the Time Hotel for a little surprise. You think it's a good time to call everybody? Yeah. Yay! Uh, <laughs> That's cute. We left them uh, a picture attached to a little message that said, um, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere, make it to New York, and officially invited them to come join in our fun weekend. Thank you, Al. Here today because I wanted her to be with me when I go look for wedding dresses for the first time. Hi, Mama. <laughs> While Trista was in New York, I set up a fashion show for her and her mom with Bajli Mishka. Hi, Trista. You look gorgeous. Mark. Thank you. Nice so to meet pretty. You. Nice to meet you. James. They've designed dresses for Jennifer Lopez, Holly Berry. How lucky is she that she gets a custom-made dress by these designers? It's such a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> to come to Fajli Mishka, who I just find as fashion gods, it's a dream come true. That is beautiful. That was very classic, but it's one of our favorites. 
Sort of, sort of Grace Kelly. Oh, I love the bass. This one's in ivory satin, sort of like our little princess gown. This one, oh. we heard you love pink, so we thought you might love this dress. Oh, that is so pretty. This is a very subtle dress. It's got a very sort of twinkly crystal and pearl embroidery on the hem and around the bodice. It's on oh, the hands. This is all embroidered ribbon on the bustier. Oh, my. It's all sheared into center front and with the silk rosettes and the laces all touched up with crystals, so it just sort of twinkles. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow is right. <laughs> Seeing her, knowing how happy she is, and knowing that this day is going to be very special for her, and to be a part of that um, was very emotional for me. <sighs> this isn't cool or anything. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I walk out in all these beautiful dresses. <laughs> Do you know how lucky I am? Aww. <laughs> Jack, I feel pretty lucky too. Yeah. I like this one. I like the bottom. That's gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> no. Don't laugh at me when I cry. <laughs> it's emotional for me because Trista's my only daughter and my life has been based around her. And now she's flying off on her own. And this will be kind of the final release. <laughs> it's letting her go. to Stuart Weitzman, where I'm going to be meeting with him to design a shoe for my wedding day. I'm Stuart. Oh, Trista, nice right? You're too. Trista. Yeah. You're Stuart Weitzman is one of the best shoe designers in the country. He's best known for the shoes that he designed for the Academy Awards that were worth one million dollars. This is going to be a, a special pair of shoes for you. So okay. whichever shoe we end up doing, uh -huh. I'll make you a sketch of it so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to adorn it with platinum and diamonds, the most expensive bridal shoe ever made in the history of the world, the most valuable. Okay. And you, that's what you're going to have. Kiss my arm. Yeah. I never, ever would have thought about this surprise. I mean, to have diamonds on my feet, I don't quite understand why little old Trista is getting to be this lucky. And let me bring you a few ideas, okay, okay. that we can see how they look on you. This is going to be your bridal shoe. I love that. Okay? I love it. That's your favorite? That's my favorite. You I got think. it. Okay. <laughs> well, I think we did so it. so much. Very nice. Work. My it's pleasure. So nice to meet you. Being able to work with top designers is such a dream come true. And I think sharing the New York weekend with my friends is going to show them that um, they're definitely part of this fairy tale. We got this call yesterday. It was a picture came through from Tristan and Ryan saying, surprise, can you meet me in New York? Which was exciting. So got on the plane and here we are. This guy. The best. That's okay. Yeah. It means so much that those guys were able to kind of put their lives on hold a little while and come out here and just kind of devote a few days to Trista and I's relationship. Uh, Ryan and I went to junior high, and Sather went to junior high with us. We've known each other forever. We've grown up together. It's going to be great to see him. What made you fall in love with Trista? <laughs> Put me on the spot like that. <laughs> no Ryan. pressure, no pressure. <laughs> it was her chest. <laughs> From the minute they got engaged on TV, it's been pretty surreal. I mean, it's just been an unbelievable experience. You know, you, you wonder, you question whether or not they're really in love. Yeah. He went from the beginning when I met him, he was my favorite. I think that Ryan and Tristan make each other extremely happy. I see it in her face, I see it in her smile. Um, when she's with him, she's a different person. The reason why we have you here is because you are all our closest and most dear friends. And for my friends, you all be, are going to be my groomsmen. For Tristan's friends, you all are going to be her <laughs> bridesmaids. Right. So thank you guys. <laughs> So thank you guys very much for coming out. And I also have one more announcement to make, and that is that Chris, my brother and close friend, <laughs> will be my 
best man. For him to tell me that I'm the best man, it was a, a very happy surprise. I'm very honored. I have an announcement to make that uh, I would like Sarah to be my maid of honor. If you'd stand right next to me. Uh. Trista was my maid of honor five years ago and just was a, a spectacular friend all throughout that process, so I hope I can do the same for her. Cheers. 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 Up next. Trista and her bridesmaids live out every woman's fantasy. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Cindy, I love it. While Ryan and his groomsmen get rowdy at the private fitting. Behave, boys. <laughs> then, as the wedding draws near, concerns begin to surface. I mean, it definitely seemed a little weird, I mean, that Ryan could have fallen in love with this girl. And later, the wedding party is off to the Caribbean to celebrate Trista and Ryan's last days before marriage. Yeah. All this when Tristan Ryan's wedding returns. Hi. Hi. Today, all my friends are going to gather together. We're going to hop in a limo and head down to a designer's where the girls can pick out what dresses they'll wear for the wedding. Really, the way. Let me see. One of the main reasons we're coming to New York is for the designing of our tuxedos. And Kenneth Cole is going to be doing all of that for myself and my groomsmen. not going to allow my fiance to influence me and wear pink. <laughs> she wants you to wear pink. She wants to wear pink tie? Solid pink. And I heard that she wants us to wear pink ties, so if we do wear pink ties in the wedding, then you know who wears the pants in the family. White ties. White ties? Wedding dresses. <laughs> no. Entree boo. Thank you. Go ahead. After you. No. Oh, my goodness. This is our bridal room. Ready. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. I love it. I like that line on you. The strapless, that okay. looks really good. Pretty girl. Pretty girl. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Doesn't her necklace match perfectly? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's cute. Great. But I like it. That's a nice. Hello. Show the shoes. Do you want us all to have a different one? Yeah, I, I, if you, whatever style okay. you guys want. I, I, I want to obviously find a way to tie them all together. Like if we do the black accents with the pink dress, I think that'll make it come together. Hey, I got you all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> Behave, boys. You <laughs> 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 just got right. <laughs> See, you didn't take your medication today, did you? <laughs> Even though we were goofing off a lot and having a good time, it was still the underlying theme was, you know, we're doing this for Ryan's wedding. What do you think? What do you think, guys? I like, like that? Nice. Yay. I guess looking at myself in the mirror in that tuxedo and knowing that the next time I have that on is going to be my wedding day is pretty cool. There's a, a little bit of a realization in that happening, so I'm excited. Tonight is basically an end to a weekend that we are able to share with our friends and seeing everyone talking and getting along. It really means a lot to us because we know that looking forward into our lives, it's going to be filled with friends and fun. <laughs> Sir, if you, if you need any more help with those poems, you come, come see right. me, all right? Yeah. Did you have oh, another poem for <laughs> Your brother's not a really good poet. <laughs> my heart in the palm of her hand, a boy dying to be her man. Between tomorrow and yesterday, what I really want to say is that I'm falling for something about her. <laughs> Romantic, yes. Thoughtful, yes. Poetic, no chance in hell. Here I am, in the palm of your hand, a boy. Here I am, trying to be, be a, a man. man. Oh, <laughs> That's terrible. That's oh, I like that. Sorry. Literally sends chills down my body. <laughs> It's been neat getting to know Trista's friends. I think we've all had the same kind of feelings. I think it's such a surreal, unreal situation that they've both been through. We want to make sure that they've got the same true feelings that they're supposed to have. I mean, this is a pretty important decision they're making, and we want to make sure they're both at the same level. No, 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 Trista. I said no thought. No. Yes. I'll be honest with you. Trista seems like she's high maintenance. She's a 
girly girl. Yeah. Which is... Which is fine. Right. It's great. I think Ryan's attracted to that, actually. Yeah. Don't worry, my boy Ryan. I think we're all this way. And that, uh... When we fall in love, then we'll do whatever the woman who we're in love with does. Which is not good. But do you think Trista realizes that about him? I hope so. We haven't had that talk with her. I think the biggest hot spot will be coming down off of this high and kind of leading somewhat normal life and experiencing that together and really understanding what a real marriage is all about. Coming into this, my friends and I, we were like, is this real? I mean, are they in love? We were worried that they might get mixed up in so much of the hoopla that they don't really know what real life is together. I mean, it definitely seemed a little weird, I mean, that Ryan could have fallen in love with this girl on TV. I mean, obviously it's in everyone's hearts and it's on the tip of our tongue, but some of us don't have the nerve to verbalize it and, and, uh, and say what's been on our minds. I'd like to say a little something. That's all right, everybody. Yeah. 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 No, Tris, I don't know you very well. For me, this has been a pretty uh, unreal experience. And uh, I'd like to bring a little reality to it. You know, uh, growing up, Ryan and Ben and I would ride in this uh, big, huge, beat-up, gray pickup truck with my dad. And he'd tell us stories about how you're going to pick your wife. And uh, my dad's a fairly simple guy. And he said, uh, you know, as long as she can uh, go through bag drills, and she's got some nice child-bearing hips and great teeth, <laughs> she's your woman. And I haven't seen you go through any bags, and I haven't seen your hips, but I've seen your teeth. you got great teeth. <laughs> so, Ryan, you're doing good, boy. <laughs> Here's to the bride and groom. Thank you so much for involving us all. And cheers. Cheers. Good luck. Cheers. God bless you. Right. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, man. I think that my friends are skeptical. I think it's hard not to be when you haven't had a chance to actually get to know this girl. And I can I can tell the world how much I love her, but until you actually see it, I, it's hard to believe. Ryan, I want to give you something really quick. Tonight, I presented Ryan with a box that was an invitation to his bachelor party. Dear Ryan, pack your bags. We're headed to the beach to bury your single life deep in the sand. Just tequila, cigars, and your buddies getting rowdy in the sunshine. P.S. Don't tell Trista. <laughs> don't make him be bad. We cannot let the boys outdo the girls. So. Dear Trista, after a long search, you found the fireman of your dreams, and we approve. Now your girlfriends are taking you out to celebrate. We're gonna get a little wild in the tropical heat. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. We're ready. Let's go party. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Coming up, the wedding party arrives in the Caribbean to plan the bachelor and bachelorette parties. Knowing what's gonna happen, knowing how it's gonna happen, I think tonight's just gonna be insane. When Tristan Ryan's wedding returns. To have a bachelor party in St. Martin, I mean, come on, how could it, how could it possibly fail? It's gonna be, it's gonna be great. First of all, St. Martin is quite possibly the greatest place I've ever been to. It's gorgeous. And then having everybody here, all of Ryan's friends, all of Tristan's friends, we all kind of met this morning, you know, as everybody was coming in. It's fantastic. Tina B. All right. Tina B. How are you doing? How you been? It's been a, been a while. What a lot of people don't know is that Ryan and I were really good friends on the show, and we became really close after the show. You know, Tristan and Ryan are great people, and to see this come through to fruition and them actually getting married is, is a great thing. But you all just get here too? Yeah. yeah. No. Good flight. I, uh, I flew in with Russ on the Concord. <laughs> I'm very happy for Tristan and Ryan. Being able to bring their friends and family to a beautiful place like this for a bachelor and a bachelorette party is pretty amazing. I think it's great. Yay! We're still waiting on Tristan and Ryan to get here, but it was a great opportunity to meet all of Ryan's friends. They're just great guys. They're just like Ryan. Well, here we are, Stan. Hey. I think I'm really going to enjoy this weekend meeting Ryan's friends and seeing some of Trista's old friends that I knew from years ago. Hey! 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 Is this a surprise party? 
I know in our family, my dad came to my bachelor party, as did my father-in-law, which was really kind of fun for me. The position that I intend to take during this process is more like to sit back and watch and, and learn about all the things that my son did when he grew up and I don't know about. Is that right? Yeah. What's up, buddy? <laughs> knowing what's going to happen, knowing how it's going to happen, I think tonight's just going to be insane. It's going to be a huge party. It's going to be talked about for a very, very long time. <laughs> Next week on Tristan Ryan's Wedding. Krista and Ryan receive a wild welcome as they arrive in St. Martin. But as the partying begins, not everyone is in the mood to celebrate. Hey, is Jack here? I don't want them to be forced to talk to me. And will Trista and her dad resolve their differences? But I wanted to see if everything's OK. You feel in the know now? Then later, the bachelor and bachelorette parties are in full swing. Here's right. number one of 15 right Woo! here. Hey! Oh, dear God. He acts like he doesn't like it, but I think he does. Will the temptation be too much for Ryan to handle? You guys are going to get me in so much We're trouble. We're not going to get you in trouble. trouble. Oh, Look, on. your girlfriend is going to understand. Where's my baby? Is he over there? And when Ryan disappears, will it push Trista over the edge? No one, can't find him. no one could find Ryan. He was just MIA, missing. He disappeared. He's gone. Then, two weeks from tonight, the event we've all been waiting for. Krista and Ryan's wedding. If you know someone who would be a great bachelor... Krista, nice to meet you. Ryan. Hey, Ryan, nice to meet you both. Slow, quick, quick, slow. It's all right, do it again. This is the first time for Ryan for doing some of these moves, so, you know, it takes practice with anything. <laughs> You're working so hard. You can move around the floor with it. <laughs> now back. Okay, now. Remember, big dip ending. Excellent, Hi. excellent. Very good. Wow.